Oppo and its Reno series have been known to offer its users a good balance of specs while keeping the price in the mid-range category. Based on previous models, it usually offers a great set of cameras as well as almost flagship features. And apart from a capable set of internals, it also boasts a design that you'd be proud to show off. Oppo Philippines has just made official its Reno 6 series and right here is the Reno 6Z 5G. This is the more affordable variant to the Pro model but as such, it still builds on those things that I mentioned earlier. So do we have another winner for the mid-range category? Hey guys, Kevin here. You're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. This is our Oppo Reno 6Z 5G review. As always, let's begin with design. The Oppo Reno 6 Z 5G is a looker, no doubt, and it will surely appeal to those who like a flashy design. It sports the company's Reno Glow design with its subtle shimmering effect and comes in either stellar black or aurora, which is what we have right here. Depending on how the light touches it, it shows different shades of blue and orange, which has been kind of mesmerizing if you're into this design. The back panel also has this textured feel to it that eliminates fingerprints, unlike those with a glossy back. The Reno 6 series has a really slim and light design that's easy to hold and looks good too, something that has been a trademark of the Reno series. For button placements, you have the power and lock button on the right side, volume on the left, and at the bottom you have the 3.5mm audio jack, USB-C port, and a single speaker grill. Finally, its SIM tray with slots for dual SIM cards and microSD are lined up along the volume buttons. Up front, the Reno 6 Z 5G carries a 6.4-inch AMOLED display with a full HD Plus resolution. With this, it's able to achieve a nice screen-to-body ratio that's just right for viewing or watching content straight from the phone. And for longer periods of usage, it also comes with certification from SGS Eye Care Display as it helps avoid eye strain by reducing blue light from the screen. For picture quality, colors are vibrant thanks to its AMOLED panel and its Full HD Plus resolution shows details very well for its screen size. Brightness is also sufficient for even watching content outdoors. And if you're into watching your favorite TV shows and movies online, you'd be glad to know that it's certified to stream high-definition content on both Netflix and Amazon. Of course, it's not as enjoyable to watch on a tiny phone screen than on a dedicated TV, but it's good to know that when you have downtime from work, for example, you can watch on the Reno 6 and still appreciate high-quality images. In terms of sound performance and immersion though, you're still better off using a pair of headphones either via Bluetooth or its 3.5mm jack since it only comes with a single down-firing speaker grill. Now let's go to one of its key selling points, its cameras. The Reno 6 Z 5G goes for a triple rear camera setup which is one camera less than its more expensive sibling, the Reno 6 5G. It has a 64 megapixel shooter for its main and it's accompanied by an 8 megapixel wide and a 2 megapixel macro lens. And up front, a 32 megapixel shooter handles your selfies. With these working together, the Reno 6 Z 5G produces photos with great dynamic range, especially when shooting outdoors in bright environments. We were actually able to attend an event on a racetrack and its wide-angle camera is such a great tool to have, especially since you're able to squeeze in more elements in one frame. Something you'd want during events like these. Colors also pop out thanks to its AI scene enhancement feature. Although what I specifically like about this AI-assisted camera feature is that it doesn't just boost colors just for the sake of boosting them. It does so in a way that it doesn't go overboard. Meaning it still looks natural and not overly done. Although I noticed that at certain times when taking selfies, it tends to make the skin appear redder than it really is. Although most of the time you get that nice sharp details that really capture your emotions in portrait. Its bokeh flare feature is easily a favorite as well as it can turn ordinary photos to something a bit more special by playing with bokeh effects and imitating shots taken from a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with a shallow depth of field. Now those are for photos but for videos, the Reno 6 Z 5G has a few tricks up its sleeve as well. Its portrait beautification video that we're using right now aims to improve the skin tone by brightening up your face and enhancing your facial features. It also eliminates imperfections and matches the skin tone. So what do you think? Am I pretty yet? It also comes with focus tracking for videos just by double tapping the subject. So for example, I'm using this right now and if I move forward and backward, it should still be able to track and focus on where I am in the screen. 
In terms of overall usage, it delivers great performance from its octa-core MediaTek Dimensity processor paired to 8GB of RAM with RAM expansion technology. This system basically borrows up to 3GB of memory when needed to help process heavier loads so that you get a faster performance whether you're gaming or just running a heavier app. And with a few weeks of using this as my personal phone, I didn't experience any major lags or crashes for day-to-day -day usage. But it does kind of slow down for heavier apps like editing multiple high-res photos on Canva, for example. Running games like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty fared well and gameplay is fast but run heavier games like Genshin Impact and you'd have to settle for low graphics settings. Although this is completely understandable since Genshin Impact is a really heavy game, so its processor as a whole still has its limitations but definitely powerful enough for the average user. Overall, gaming experience is decent and the phone comes with features like quick startup that keeps your frequently played games active in the background even after exiting so you can easily get back to your match. But I would imagine that having this feature running in the background still drains your battery life, so use this feature wisely. Now both the Reno 6 models are 5G enabled and though we don't live in a 5G covered area, we were still able to achieve a stable 70 Mbps download speed with the Reno 6 Z 5G. More than good enough for loading social media sites and streaming the modern creatures on YouTube. Oppo says it comes with a 360 degree antenna to ensure stable and consistent 5G connection. And our time with it away from Wi Fi proved that it could handle its own in terms of connectivity. Additionally, the device runs on Color OS 11 and is pretty straightforward to use. It supports personalized info for its always on display and even comes with superior dark mode that lets you customize how dark you want your dark mode to be. I said dark too much, didn't I? Finally, you can find its fingerprint sensor embedded under the display and it works reliably. But during my entire time with it, I've been using its face recognition to unlock the device more since I find it a lot easier and faster to use. The Reno 6 Z 5G is equipped with a 4310mAh battery which proved to be just right for a casual morning to night performance. But use it for extended periods gaming or shooting videos and you definitely have to charge it again before the day ends. This is also a bit understandable since the company focused more on making the phone light and slim. Still, you'd be better off with a power bank to be sure that you can easily top up your phone's battery. And while it doesn't last very long, charging it is fairly fast thanks to its support for 30 watt flash charge. With this, the phone is able to fully charge from empty in less than an hour. We've seen faster charging tech of course but it also helps that you get this feature on the Reno 6. And if you're really strapped for power and you've got nowhere to charge, turning on its super power saving mode should help do the trick. And as always in our reviews, the modern creatures aims to find special features in devices that would make them worth having. Their creature, feature, and for the Oppo Reno 6 Z 5G, it would definitely have to be its set of cameras as well as its form factor. Its cameras produce great images with flexibility and usage thanks to its wide-angle lens. Its set of shooting features also help create better videos, while its slim, lightweight design with a flashy finish is what gives it its Reno character. The Oppo Reno 6 Z 5G is priced at 19,999 pesos, while its sibling, the Reno 6 5G, is at 26,999 pesos. With those price tags, it puts the Reno 6 series in the premium mid-range category. But what you're getting is basically a package of flagship level design, display quality, and imaging capabilities. And that's about it for our Oppo Reno 6 Z 5G review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.